Welcome everyone, I'm Rabbi Aisha Lansong, and I'd like to talk to you about the benefits of self-compassion. So, so many of us are really struggling with self-criticism, and that can come in a lot of forms, either how we speak to ourselves in a really unkind way, or that we collapse when we tell ourselves we can't do something, we're not good enough. So it's really understandable about where those origins came from early on, and and so what I want to really get across is how noticing how much our energy drops when we go into that self-criticism and how much our focus narrows in on ourselves and that we can't actually really notice other people as well when we're in that pit of self beratement And so shifting over to self-compassion, self-kindness, some of the steps are one noticing the moment we start dropping into that self-criticism pit. So you can notice either in your body you just got small or just even hearing the words of how you're speaking to yourself in a way that you really wouldn't want to speak to other people. So first is mindfulness, noticing. Second is just pausing, coming back to the breath, breathing in and breathing out, just stopping mid-sentence on that self-critical statement, coming back to our breath, noticing, breathing in, breathing out. And when we can shift over to self-compassion, that moment we can say, you know, it's really difficult to be sick or to be lonely or to not have our needs met. That's a moment of shifting into self-compassion. And notice what happens in your body. There's more agency, there's more potency, and there's more ability to rise up, notice the world around you, notice the people, and the potential for your relationships for asking for the help that you need and being able to show up in your purpose. Because when we're in self-criticism, our purpose is really far away. When we're in self-kindness and self-compassion, we have that ability to stand up in our dignity and stand up in our purpose. So if you'd like to learn more about this, I have my self-criticism to self-compassion class, and it's a lovely community of people who are interested in rising up in this agency being present in their life, present in their body, and present to our purpose and our gifts. So, if that sounds good to you, I'd love for you to join me. Rolivua, thank you.